I had been teaching full-time at the same school for four years, teaching visual arts, drawing, painting, and then budget cuts, and 850 teachers later, <laughs> they lost their jobs in the county. I applied to about 100 teaching positions. I didn't land a teaching job for, for this academic year, but I uh, talked to one of my professors after class one night, and turns out she ran this really great center called Create. And she said, oh, well, with your teaching credentials and experience, well, you know, I'll, I'll see, if, uh, see if we got a position for you. So since then, I've been working part-time for Create, working on specific art projects and installations. Today we are looking at renderings with a couple changes from the initial drawings and uh, we're going to see how the entire committee thinks. One of the teachers that I met with, one word she mentioned that really stuck with me was seed and how what they're doing is not just literally planting seeds but metaphorically planting seeds, teaching these young kids how to read and how to uh, get along and how to be a community. So from that tiny little seed, that first thing that you plant, whether it's knowledge or desire or education in general on something, it grows. You guys excited about having a few murals and a garden on campus? Yeah. Are you guys excited about actually painting? Yeah. Very shortly they'll be out here helping me to fill in the foreground, background, the crops and uh, buildings and everything. Everything that's low enough for them to reach. It's red time, baby. I want them to think of it as their garden. It's something that they can come back to hopefully 20 years from now and say, hey, look at, look at that piece. I, I was in on that. I was here for that. I hope to inspire what was inspired in me when I was growing up, when I got involved with murals and got involved with learning how to draw and, and expressing myself. Yeah.